Well, hey, Internet, this is Steve at Thousand Year Homes. So yesterday I went ahead and sprayed my house, and I was in a hurry because uh, this big storm was coming up. And I'm just going to test it, the paint now. Uh, it, I, I sprayed it in the morning. I had a full day, so 24 hours. Now it's raining, and uh, it's hard. So that, that worked out real well. So um, in addition, my whole goal in painting this was just to make it visually attractive from a distance. This house is still a build in progress, and it will be wrapped in earth bag. But I like that quite a bit. So uh, I've, I've got a full uh, spray video. So it, this would work on any kind of metal building. And uh, the important thing for me was the storm that was coming. I wanted to make sure that I could beat that. And indeed I did. Uh, oh, I see some blank spots there. I missed some spots there. I got, still got a gallon left. So I was in a hurry. Uh, in addition, I had spent quite a bit of time prepping it. But even still, uh, on a big area like this, look at that, I, I had missed a, a few spots. Now, this is, these shipping containers are 20 years old. So if you want a high-end finish, and I say this in the video itself, uh, on a shipping container, buy new. Because <laughs> every dent, every ding, every, you know, you can't see too much because I go, uh, you know, um, in the video. But in person, you can notice every dent, every ding. But visually, it makes the house a lot more attractive. So uh, let me go ahead and show you what um, sprayer I used. It's nothing fancy. Got to be careful. The cedar trees are, are dropping needles all over everything. I don't want that. Now I could thin this with just a little bit of water. I thought it was too thick. We're gonna try it. Just like it is. isn't real helpful to me they don't have a arrow there where they're showing me <laughs> what, <laughs> what is prime all right well fine <laughs> cracks me up So there's my first clog, so I'm going to rotate it around and blow it out the back. There we go. You see that? Did I get paint on that? I don't know. All right, let's set. I'm going to restage, reset up. So that didn't take real long. I see some weirdness there. But you see why I drop it in a bucket of water? <laughs> in, in between. All right, it'll be a few minutes while I reset up. 
I gotta pull my truck out. This, there's a five mile an hour breeze. And uh, trust me on that. Uh, everything within 20 feet will have little speckles of paint. And I don't want that to be my truck. So it'll be a few minutes while I reset. You'll notice that I'm moving super fast. It's because I'm up against heat and I don't want this thing to clog and it's also not a very high-end one. So I'm working as fast as I can in case it decides to conk out. Let me clean the lens. I see a little paint splatter. There we go. All right, so let's get back to work. I'm gonna spray both of these halves, turn around, spray both of those halves. If you're standing in a great hall where uh, I have a reciprocal ceiling, this will be the uh, my uh, workshop, my man's workshop, 3D printers, computers, all my high-tech gear, and then over behind the camera is a uh, going to be my uh, uh, viewing room with a good sound system. I like uh, music, so good vinyl collection, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. All right, let's get going. here I I haven't cut the uh, I haven't cut the uh, black in yet I haven't done a lot of work uh, but I don't want a bunch of overspray on those glass walls they're not a shower panel those are actually a glass wall they're super expensive of course I could clean glass with uh, you know goof off or something I don't want to spend that time so <laughs> I bought a bunch of Goodwill sheets for 50 cents and I'm just gonna cover it up with that These already have overspray on them that's not for me. And uh, anytime there's a long gap like that, my uh, hose is sitting in a bucket of water, your uh, gun. Just drop your gun in a bucket of water. You could spray a little WD-40 on the surface, it wouldn't hurt a thing. And then your gun's getting a little lubrication at the same time. Sometimes I do that, sometimes I don't. But right now I did, because I want to get through this. <laughs> You know, I want to be done. And I can't be done if my gun is all jammed up. So I'm taking precautions.
Man, there's a lot of overspray on this camera. <laughs> All right, so one Connex completely done, uh, including the door painted black. Now I'll need to get more black out and a little bit of overspray. And I have to treat the wood on that one. So I'm hoping to treat the wood today. So we'll move around to the back part here. I'll spray that out. This is where all of my uh, uh, water is that I catch. Normally I have a gutter that's running across the top so I catch the water off of this Connex. It's how I water my horses and how I get the little bit of water that I need for uh, cement out here. So uh, you see that I'm well organized and I'm moving fast. And uh, one, I've got a storm coming and you need four to six hours for latex to cure before rain. It's supposed to rain tomorrow. I'm supposed to get 24 hours, but it's Texas I don't know and two the longer you delay in the hot Texas Sun the more likely your latex is to make little gummy balls that jam up your uh, your sprayer so I'm moving pretty quick so let me go ahead and finish this end here it'll be a minute while I move everything Come on!
All right, I am up against a little race here. I've got uh, about, uh, I'm gonna guess, four by 10, 40 square feet of painting left to do. And uh, it's getting down there, right? I've got maybe a quart or two. So we shall see if I shall make the, the 40 feet. I think I will. If not, I'll get out the brush and scrape the bucket get that one last square foot that'll be short of. All right, so I hit the end. So now I'm gonna tip the bucket and prop it up a little bit, see if I could get the last little bit. Man, I'm like six feet away from being done. <laughs> There's plenty of paint in there. I just have to get it in the hose. Prime, I had to put Prime back in. All right, I think I'll make it, everybody. Man, that's cutting it close. <laughs> I lost prime and everything. I tipped the bucket, got it. It's the last little bit. So there's probably a quart left in the bucket. Uh, I'll uh, try to pour it into another container so I could keep it and do patch ups. Now this is paint job was the idea was just good enough. I just wanted it good enough from a distance that instead of all kinds of multi calico that people see a unified uh, um, 
container. It's supposed to be gray. I see beige sometimes. I see periwinkle. So, I mean, as I change angle, I see different things. It's like that dress that was in, on the internet where what color was it? And everybody was debating based on the rods in their eyes. So, or cones rather. All right, I did a pretty good job. Let me do a walk around and see what we all think together. So not too bad. The end caps there, I'll paint the door black just like I did there. You know, there's, again, if you look closely, you would see like where somebody scraped it with a fork truck once upon a time or banged a container against it swinging from the ships. Uh, got all the way down, got good coverage everywhere. There's a few spots now, uh, you know, it only took me an hour or two to spray it, but I've been spending a lot of time in prep and I've scraped it and I've also, that black coating that was on there was a, uh, a rust preventative from Eastwood. So I, I touched up all the rust preventative. There's a magnet right there I couldn't take off. I mean, it is stuck now for forever. So, <laughs> but this looks good. This will be my great haul. Uh, all looks good. Um, there's a, a label I forgot to scrape. So I've got enough paint that I could go back in and touch those kind of things up. I don't know if I will or not. Uh, I think that this window is the promise of, you know, imagine once that's adobe and smooth and has the organic adobe vibe. I don't know what color I'm going to paint the house, but uh, this certainly harmonizes it a lot better. Uh, it also woke up the wood. I, I think it's made the, uh, the wood more of a showpiece, which is what I wanted over the doors. So I'm going to cut some storm windows out, make some custom storm windows. These two windows on the end were not done when I painted them. I still needed to do a little bit of work on them. Uh, put some headers in, metal headers and some trim, but they're watertight, so I went ahead and painted it. Uh, I see that I did a little bit of overspray on the black. I'm gonna have to chase that down. And the other door, I don't have it spray painted black yet at all. So, uh, you know, it still looks like a door, but there we go. It, it's definitely more house-like and now that I have the canalis on the top, uh, you know, it looks m a lot more like, uh, you know, uh, Adobe. I can visualize it. All right, this is Steve, a thousand year home. Thank you for watching my airless spraying of two Connexes. It took me five gallons of paint, exactly. And that was Valspar external, uh, exterior, really good high quality paint. So, uh, your mileage may vary. Uh, I should have if I was really in love with the finish, like, I, I don't think you could save them, but bondoed it out and sanded and I, listen, when they're dented like this, they've been, this is 20 years on the ocean. If you really want a fin fine finish on a shipping container, buy a brand new one. Uh, otherwise, just accept the flaws and just paint it like I did. Good enough, right? This is good enough and, uh, you know, I could see the flaws, but uh, it looks pretty darn good and it feels more like a home and uh, good enough is working out for us it, it's good enough so uh anyway like subscribe follow me along thank you bye